hello dear teachers welcome to the first tax of powerpoint presentation software so in this tax we are going to we are going to produce a good powerpoint presentation then later we kind of record a video but anyways it is your choice because maybe if i might be doing mathematics and you are not a mathematics teacher so you will not be able to 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 to, to do the video recording that is the explanations so i'll be more interested just in the tax the powerpoint presentation you have done so the mathematics teachers now can go further by now um explaining and if if <coughs> if you eventually do your explanation <coughs> try to send me the video at the end okay but anyways like i said we just dwell more on the powerpoint presentation so um, i will try to match i will try to do a powerpoint presentation where we have both text and drawings so that we tackle all the areas in one powerpoint presentation so that if you're not in mathematics if you don't teach mathematics or maybe the subject you don't teach does not require drawing some some some, some diagrams then you just be more focused on the text section and if you now teach mathematics where normally you have to draw you're not going to focus on both sections both the text and the drawing section so i am here in a blank i'm about to open a blank powerpoint presentation so uh, my favorites there are so many templates you could take a blank powerpoint presentation but due to the light intensity that affect my eyes i usually take the the background that is dark so i take the dark background okay and then boom well, let me see which one will i choose i choose this then i quit so that is it so you could choose any it all depends on if you want to choose like me no no problem fine okay um so we are going to i i saw one mock the most recent mock that's a midland the midland practice exam and i i went directly to paper three the first question we just have text so we know actually do it this question of projectiles bomb the diagram there is not really it's not really really um it's not really hard to draw maybe at the end we'll just try to analyze it now this man here is it hard to draw now when i see the drawing on this diagram i just realized that the, the the person who did this these shapes are not really uniform if, if if i zoom for example you realize that the lines are kind of burnt you see this b here is, is that's the position is supposed to be a little bit inside this man is not purely on the inclined plane this c here is just just like that just like that so we can you can already be giving critics to, to to such diagrams because it's not really really easy it's not easy to to, to draw diagrams at all so um i think we, we we are going to look at question four yes question four we are going to look at question four that is the equation on center of mass so we'll see what to do there then maybe later we can come back here yes you can come back here just to draw the diagram okay just to draw the diagram because i don't think i'll be already tired to do the solution so let's come here and we see how to set up the powerpoint solution the powerpoint presentation solution for this question that we try to record so this is a question the figure shows a laminar a b c d e so for conveniences i'll just try to 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 snipe this question and take it directly to my powerpoint presentation then i retype the equation so i just have to take it and i take it to my powerpoint presentation i think it is here i paste here is it right in fact um to make my powerpoint presentation to be nice I will start by 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 creating a template slide then i duplicate so because i'm i'm versed with it i usually just kind of put some informations on 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 a given slide that's why we call the master slide i will talk about that later 
before now let me just show you something so i inserted a line so basically i want you to be doing this with me okay um i inserted a line increase the thickness of the line so three i don't even know what pt means then change the the color to be white okay now take a text box let me shift this man down take a deck text box draw the text box then write inside mid learn practice examination 2024 take it to 24 change the name to area black place it here okay copy and paste the same it did what is inside now put 0765 paper theory pure math mechanics paper theory adjust the size place it here then take a line and place in between the two give it a white coloration and increase the thickness to maybe two okay now copy this line below and paste then bring it to the bottom bring this line to the bottom here now copy this text again and paste then presented by your name presented by now after doing doing that copy everything change the font name to school book give it the italics um, capitalize each word adjust place it here place it here I think we need to shift this line again down copy and paste bon, I don't know I'll just put mathematics academy for Africa you're going to put there but it all depends on you look for anything and put place here then now I can put my number six seven six five nine seven four nine eight um change the name back to area black put it in this coloration and remove the italics from there tell I'm just adding all of this in so that it should be a little bit big and it should occupy this space okay now we can adjust this man by shifting again then come back here copy this vertical line and paste then come and place here and make sure it copy now this man since you have adjusted perfectly and paste then place here to centralize this man voila i just finished up i just finished setting up my slide right i just finished setting up my slide you see it is more presentable now okay um now what do i do next if i wish i could just allow this question here like this without any problem all right but no i want us to draw yes i want us to draw so we are going to to pick, we are going to replicate what we see here so i go to a text box i draw a text box then i begin let me try to take it to 24 directly the figure the figure shows a lamina a b c d e where c 
cd is equal to 8a comma ze is equal to 2a comma bc is equal to 4a and ab is equal to 6a adjust my text box adjust my text box i'm just feeling that while it has entered okay now we now need to draw the diagram right so this diagram is we have inside the line a vertical line or let me see if, if we have maybe that shape there if that if that shape is available hey no need to stress we just thank god <clears throat> we are dead we have to draw so we have a vertical line first of all okay change it to white increase the thickness take it to let me say one and a half now select a line or in fact no, let me since all my lines are supposed to be of the same thickness i'll just copy and paste this line then i change the orientation to be horizontal then i make sure that this man is zero the shape height is supposed to be zero then i carry it and then i place here make sure that they intersect perfectly all right i also need to increase the length i want to make the diagram to be a little bit let me let me increase the length here but anyways let's just now next i copy this again and i paste then i put it down here right okay i'll need to increase this man because the, the the line below is longer than the line down then what do we do next we copy this vertical line and paste we bring it here we kind of place it like this and then we decrease we make it to be like this i can take it a little bit up then i increase the size the, the length sorry then what next we now need to connect so i see paste again then I, I now have to connect so i connect this end with this end so i've done my connection I don't know if my connection is really 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 okay not really okay okay that's my connection then I copy copy cop copy this copy this sorry select then I right click I think we saw grouping in Microsoft then we group okay the next thing to do is we have the circle which is in dotted lines so we kind of put a circle here okay we place it there we take filling we take no fill we take outline we try to increase the outline first then we give it a white coloration then we go to dashes then we now give it these dashes okay then i group with this All right, now we now need to place the A, B, C, and Z's and all the rest. So let's start placing it. It looks like this man is too big, so I can just shift it and oh, 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 oh. Let me try to this man. It looks like it's too large, so I can just kind of shift it and bring it like this, right? Then now I I I just deleted this man. Then I paste it back there. Then I regroup. All right. Now a text box again. We draw the text box. We put A. We take it to twenty four. We place A here. We copy and paste. We change it to B. We place B here. We copy and paste. We change it to C. We place C here. We copy and paste we place d here then we change we copy and paste then we place e here we change we select we select we select we select we select we select then we group all right now we paste again and we put 6a 
6a we place it there copy and paste we put 2a we place it there copy and paste 4a we place it here we select we select and we select and we group okay um now there is 8a again 8a we place it below here then we select then we group that is all so i'm done with my diagram right then um i can just kind of let me decrease this size so that we see what next we are supposed to do okay after completing the diagram the next thing to do we now have to write the question right we now have to write the question so i can take i can just copy this text box and i paste i bring it down here then i remove everything inside there then i start a find the distance of cd and and of cb from 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 the center of mass of the lamina forget about the marker location if you can enter here fine while well, like, it's not entering if i increase this okay enters you will put it in bold you will not enter this center here if i put it in bold you will not enter so i'll just be basically maybe remove the boldness right then i place it there i think it has to be it has to be below here right then i copy and paste again or you can just continue still on the very one you go to b directly okay you can go to b directly and then b says no before b there is something in fact i'll just i'll not go to b i'll just copy and paste then i will i will write something else now the lamina yes the lamina is suspended the lamina the lamina is suspended freely freely from c from c such that cd makes an angle of theta with the vertical cd makes an angle of theta with the vertical okay so I, I shift a little bit up here now was it was it was a question saying question is saying that this is b saying that we should show that show that tan theta is equal to 43 divided by 85 so for me to economize anyways i'll just allow this space there show that tan theta is that now the equation continues <coughs> continues by saying that a circular a circular portion a circular portion of radius b is cut off from the above from the above lamina lamina such that bc is tangent is tangent to the circle now given that the distance of BC from the center of mass of the remaining portion of the lamina is A divided by 3. There's no space again, so we have to start thinking because we cannot carry this question to the next slide. That, that's going to be very, 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 very bizarre so um there's no space again i don't know we kind of just have to be shifting things up right 
just have to be shifting things up arriving in the creative font size here to 20 yes there's no problem with it it's also visible then now carry this man up so these are the challenges you'll be facing when you when you'll be doing this thing So they say it is a divided by three what do we need to do then we have to prove that so question c copy and paste question c prove that prove that 310 a cube is equal to 3b minus a times b squared okay that's what we need to prove so i think yeah that's all that's all so basically here's a question right where this guy is too chooked up so i will i will send this man down send this man down a little bit send this man down slam this man okay if it's slanted and put it and put 24 no it's not going to go decrease back the size and then centralize then also slant this man slant from here to here okay so that is it you see i've i've successfully set up my my slide that's the equation slide now I will copy this slide and paste this is a second slide now this is a second slide because I want all the slides to carry the same information at the top and at the bottom so I'll just be changing what is within the slide right so um, I'll just have to re remove all of this portion everything here since I don't need it then I need just to find the center of mass right so I can shift this diagram here now because this is now my solution slide. I can shift this man here. Then I even I even remove this marker location. I decrease this man. Then I place it here. I'm doing all of this just to create space. Okay. So I'll start solving. I can even put now a separator. Okay. So um white coloration two and and a half of the tick for the thickness increase let it hit the bottom line here voila uh, increase this man here and make it to be like this okay carving puts it now slant no anyway just like that now cop copy paste this very line then change the orientation let it be horizontal all right and then place here make sure that it is purely horizontal place here and then try to increase this okay i can now put a seven max got the space i can now put it in bold voila all right now you can also copy and paste and then i also place it up here to show that that is the equation you are solving but just to distinguish the statement and the equation you are solving the statement are both and the equation you are solving okay now you can also copy this and paste and come and place here also just separating equation for my solution what i'm going to be doing Alright, I can try to play to see how how it is. So this is going to look like. Let's play this other man and see how. Let's present, sorry, and see how it's going to look like. This is going to look like. Okay, let's go back. Now, find this distance of the center of find the distance of CD and of CB from the center of mass. So it's the same as distance of the center of mass from CB. And CD. So um, I've not start. I've not start 
started animating i've not started animating i'm still to animate <laughs> but for me to animate i must first of all arrange my solutions the way i want them to look on my slide so with respect to how me personally i'll start explaining this question i'll start by locating the center of mass of the whole body i'll just look for any point here all right i'll put the center of mass of the whole body there okay now um I can call this my center of mass of the whole body it's too big i'll I have to I have to reduce it a little bit let me see yeah it's okay like this i'll give it yellow and yellow this right now um, we need the distance of the center of mass of the whole body from cb and and from bc so i'll take a little line i'll place a little line horizontal make sure it is purely horizontal shift it a little bit up okay even make it to pass through that no shift it a little bit up and then anyways no not really needed i'll just indicate the distance so the distance from here to here is what i want you see this is my slanted so i need to put it vertical shift it and bring it this way then kind of use this man all right give it this coloration copy and paste and then change the orientation make it to be purely horizontal carry it and then place here all right i'll even remove this circle yes i'll remove the circle because we don't need the circle originally and i'll explain to the students that initially we don't actually need that circle anyways let's just place it let's just put it it's not going to affect the solution we're just going to make an in so well is it okay like this yeah i think it's okay like this i can now copy this eight here i don't need to insert again i put x bar x by this horizontal distance here i give it this i copy and paste and change x to y y bar this vertical distance here okay now what next we have to do like we said <laughs> we have let's so this is the solution i'm preparing let lambda be the mass mass per unit area let lambda be the mass per unit area so i'm going to do that no i'm going to do it i don't know where will i put it anyways let's take it to 24 first of all let lambda be the mass per unit area after doing that i'll write what it means this means that lambda is equal to the mass over the area this if i if i if i do m over a and i do this you see it takes a lot of space so i can just put m over a and allow it like that okay it means that lambda is equal to this which means that the mass the mass is equal to lambda a now i'll not explain to the students why i'm, why I'm, why I'm doing that because i'll need to take the weight to be ma to be mg which will be m which will be lambda a times g since the mass is that okay now copy 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 and try to centralize all right now we have a table where we are going to have portions so i come to insert i take table now i'm going to put a hey, no, 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 no. i have to delete this insert table we are going to have portion we have the width of every portion then the distance of the center of mass of every portion from from things how many portions are here we are going to divide the body into various portions if i let me just put we are going to adjust later so this is my table i've inserted i can format the table if i do this then i increase the i increase the the bordering of the table that's the thickness 
kan pote wi fait tic border au tic all border voilà now au decrease the size here au increase to 24 then i'm not going to i'm not going to write here no and i'll tell you why i'm not going to write there i will instead take a text box right because i want it to appear i want it to appear so i'll take portions portions in bold well i think this man is okay 20 is okay portions then the width of every portion then put the width and then distance distance of center of mass from distance of center of mass from now will it enter here anyways I'm, I'm going to remove this from then I'll put this mark to 18 because it has to enter distance of center of mass anyways mm, you can try to and try to decrease this one decrease this one this and center of mass is from two things right so we could kind of I don't know copy 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 bring it down a little bit take this distance of center of mass place it at the top add another column go to insert insert column to the left then um, decrease this decrease this decrease this decrease this okay now the next thing to do is when I put this distance here I can now put from CD right I'll put the CD here from CD and CB put the CB here voila okay now what will be the next thing to do we now need to put the portions so basically i don't know we could kind of recopy the diagram right just copy and paste them place the diagram down here okay then after doing that we could now remove the portions we could now remove this man from 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 here we now separate the portions let us see good portions to take we could divide we we'll have this portion the square right no the rectangle pardon the rectangle make this line to be purely vertical give it a coloration what am i even doing i can just copy this line here I can just copy this little line and paste and place it here right put it in dotted to indicate that i actually introduced it okay then copy the very line and paste then make it horizontal i think this i think the, you, choosing these portions will be very good for us to, to solve this question right okay now this is what we have this is what we have hmm, I, don't, I don't know if it's okay like this i think it's okay I even give it some other colorations maybe this coloration right then we can now um, copy this E or any of them and paste oh then change it to since there's E we can put F we can put F here and after F we now put H we can put H so that we can easily define our portions right okay I'm not going to group all right i'm not going to group because they have to appear when i'm presenting 
so my first portion so how many portions are there one two three and then four one two three four so perfect those are all the portions so my first portion will be my first portion will be um let's say a b c h a b c h that's my first portion a b c h is my first portion copy and paste my second portion could now be um h d e f so h d e f that's my second portion okay copy and paste my third portion is now the triangle which is a f e a a f e and then my last portion is a whole lamina which is a b c d e okay now um, after doing this i could also indicate the various distances this distance is going to be 2a this minus is going to be 2a because this is in fact we are going to explain this is 6a right now um, this height here this height here will it also be 2a let us see if it's going to be 2a yeah it's going to be 2a because this this portion here is 2a and everything here is for it so this is also 2a voila so i think that is it so let's now find the weight so we need to take the area so just explain that the area of of the first portion is a rectangle so it's going to be 6 4 24 so 24 24 a squared then lambda g a squared lambda g we keep copy and paste then the next one is this little square here 2 and 2 so we are going to have um, 4 a squared lambda g then copy and paste again um, what next what next what next a f e half base times height half of 2 is so half base the base is 2a the height is 2a so half of 2 is 2 times 2 so you see I have 2a squared lambda g base then the area of the whole lamina will just sum their areas 24 plus 4 then plus 2 so we are going to have 30 a squared lambda g we are done with the weight now the distance of the center of mass of the whole lamina from those guys we have x bar and just place from cd is is from cb is is x bar so i place the x bar here i'll try to put it in this coloration copy and paste then y bar and place now let's go to the other guys so we now have to go to the diagram i'll just copy this little man here now I come and indicate that okay the center of mass of this man is here, the center of mass of this other man is here, and the center of mass of, of this man is around here. Okay, then I'll just be indicating the center of mass of this man is there. So um, copy and paste. Let's begin. For this rectangle, since it's at the center of the rectangle, then this horizontal distance is going to be 3a. 3a for the horizontal. So from CB is 3a. And then the vertical is going to be 2a. Copy and paste. 2a. Let me put it 2a here. Okay. Now for this other man here. The vertical is from CD is going to be 2A over 2, which is A. And then the horizontal, we first of all need to find the horizontal from HF. Then we add 6. So this is still A plus 6A, 7A. 
so we have here from CB is 7A and finally for the triangle one third of the base one third of the height from the base and from the height so this vertical distance is from we first all find from the base before we find from CD so from the base is going to be one third of the height which is going to be 2A over 3 now the remaining distance here is 2A so you are going to have 2A on 3 plus 2A that is let's add to C that is um, 6 8A over 3 8A divided by 3 now this over 3 here is so 8A divided by 3 you see if I put it vertical it's going to take space so from CD from CD yes 8A on 3 copy and paste then now from CB going this way to the height is first of all 2A over 3 then plus 6A Two a over three plus six a. This is twenty a over three. Voila. Sorry for the noise outside. Just that there is construction going on. But let me not distract. Okay, so I can copy the whole table. And I shift it a little bit to the right because there is more space there. Okay, now um, what next do we have to do? I think that is all. We, have, we now have to apply moments, right? But now there is no space again. There's no space again on this slide. So since there's no space on this slide, I could just come and write those 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 values down here. Or anyways, since there is no space, we will think of what to put down here because we are going to allow this space like that. It's very useful. So I will copy the slide and then I paste the very slide again. So copy and paste. Here is the third slide. Now, um, after doing that, I can remove this man, remove this man, remove this man, remove this man. Okay. Then I will shift the table to go up because I will be using the values on the table. I'll kind of shift the table to go up. Then now I'll, I'll apply moment. So now I need to kind of just take moment about CD, and then also take moment about CD. I'll give it twenty so that I should take moment also if I take moment about CD first of all what am I going to have it implies that it implies that it implies that we have um, we have the weight times a distance so the moment of the whole body is 30 a squared 30 a squared lambda G its perpendicular distance from CD is Y bar. We equate it to the moment of the individual. So I begin with 2A squared lambda G. Its distance from CD is 8A over 3 plus 4A squared lambda G. Its own distance is A plus 24A squared lambda g its own distance is 2a okay so i just try to expand so that everything fits perfectly now this 8a over 3 is a little bit taking too much space so i'm going to write 8a over 3 if i do this ah it becomes a little bit problematic so i don't know what i'm going to do Anyways, there's no problem. Okay, from there, we just have to start canceling things. So, A squared lambda G 
I'll put it in this color so that everybody should see that it is the same all through. So it's going to cancel. So doing that, I'm just going to have here this, this, let this now become 16. This will become 4A. This will become 48A. Okay, now 48 plus 4 is 52. 52A. So 52A. Now 52 times 3 plus 16. One seventy two all divided by three. So I can just say equal to one seventy two a divided by three. Which now means that which now means that Y bar is equal to um i'll divide both sides by 30 and a half here 90. so this is y bar okay then i will duplicate the very slight and paste then i'll find x bar copy and paste ah. copy paste wonderful Then I'll now take I'll now take moment about CB. Then here the left hand side I'll just replace it to X bar. Here I'll the weight all the weights are the same. What is changing is just from 8A on TV goes to 20 A over TV instead. Now from A here it goes to 7A. From 2A it goes to 3A. We have to adjust. See, there is there, there is space. The space is lagging there. I don't know what we are going to do. Anyways, I'll just allow it like that. Because if I decrease again, it will be so tiny. So here we are going to have 30x bar. When you multiply this two, we have 40. 40 4 and 7 is 28 28 3 and 3 and 24 so 3 times 24 plus 28 100 so this is going to be 100 now having that to be 100 we have 30 plus 100 is 300, 340, 340, we divide by 30, we are going to have here over 90, so 340. Okay, um, 340. Let's go to this school and see something. Yes, 43 and 85. Are you sure it's actually on 19? Anyways, we'll, we'll try to see if I've made a mistake or not. So this is X bar. Okay, 30. One of these also even cancel. We have 34 over 9. Okay. Mm, is there any other thing? All right. Now the next question show that the lambda is freely is freely is suspended freely from C such that C makes an angle of theta with the vertical. Show that tan theta is 43 on 85. 
so I'll copy the very slight and paste I'll copy and paste then I'll I don't need this table again okay so I'll just select everything here and delete even this man I don't need delete I don't need this also delete then we, we need a new diagram so even this man here we are going to delete okay um, this guy here we're also going to delete let's just suspend freely this H we are going to delete so it's suspended at C and it hangs freely so for this to happen then it's going to be like this see this oh, how is it going to be I think it's going to be in such a way, yeah, it's going to be like this. In fact, let me first of all remove, let me remove all these A's, B's, and C's. You know, we just have to allow them. If it's suspended at C, so it has to turn like this, and then at equilibrium, um, the distance of the center of mass to see has to be vertical so let me first work with the center of mass and group then I make it vertical let me just remove all of these things first of all and put the diagram to be normal we'll introduce them later since it is suspended at C C is this edge so at equilibrium is going to be kind of like this it's going to be kind of like this we have to it's going to be kind of like this such that um, let me just draw the vertical first of all from the point C so the center of mass is purely vertical so this is a vertical line this line is supposed to be purely vertical so i'll try to give it this and then dashes and i give it the white coloration So from C to the center of mass is supposed to be vertical at equilibrium. Okay. Now, what do we need to do? We now need to now introduce back all those points A, B, C, and D. So C is up there. C is up here. And call my center of mass G. Um, after C, we have B. B was this man here. After B, we have A. A was a was this guy here. After A, we have D. I think D was connected to C, right? Then we have E. Voila. Now, um, I need to I need to bring in that question. equation here so that people should know that okay this is the equation we are solving and then here I'm showing that show that tan theta is equal to 43 over 85 
Si squish en B. To shift a little bit up. All right, now, mm, so theta is the angle made by CD with the vertical. The vertical is CG, and CD is making the angle with the vertical. So I just need to call that angle theta. This is the angle they are talking about. This angle here. So that's the angle theta. I can now bring in a little arc. Okay, show that that's actually an angle. So this is my angle. So kind of, you can create a right angle triangle here. Where this distance is a distance from the center of mass to CD. The distance from the center of mass to CD is Y bar. Now This other distance, this other distance, which is just the base of the right angle triangle, is the distance of the center of mass. This theta is too big. It's making the triangle not so. So I can decrease that theta there, so that at least I send this man to go inside. So this base here is the distance from the center of mass, the distance from the center of mass to CB. The distance from the center of mass to CB is X bar. So it means that we have the X bar for this distance here and Y bar for this other distance. Now let us take tan theta and see something. And theta is equal to opposite y bar y bar divided by adjacent x bar that is tan theta now let's just copy our x bar and y bar and paste in this slide so this is x bar that we had so if the proof does not come out there, we have to go and recheck our values of x bar. I don't know if I made a mistake. We we'll just have to check. Now the y bar was over 90 here. Here we had 172. So this was y bar. Okay. So this will just be equal to y bar is 172 divided by 90 then we invert this one is going to be 9 divided by 34 because the a's are going to cancel okay um, what happens now let's see 9 we cancel we are going to have 10 so we go 5 so we go 8 into 17 2 goes into 17 here is going to be 6 now 2 we also go into into 34 17 times and we go into the 86 43 times ok so at the end of the day 5 times 17 is 85 so we have 43 divided by 85 so that's the proof so it means that our previous values of x bar and y bar are very correct okay 
we are done with this. Um, is it, ah, the last question, Jesus. A circular portion of the radius B is cut off from the above lamina such that such that BC is a tangent to the circle. That is it. Given that the distance of the, of BC from the center of mass of the remaining the remaining the remaining portion of the lamina is A over T. We prove this. So I think here we have to draw another table, right? Let me come back here. So I'll just copy and paste this one, then I change the position because I need this. Now I'll delete everything that is here because I'm more concerned. I'm more concerned with this diagram. I have x band y bar. In fact, I'm more concerned now with this diagram. Yes, I'm more concerned with this diagram. Now um, I'll just have to delete what I have here because it's not needed. We are going to take moments exactly. But now, when we cut it off, we just have two portions. We have the whole lamina and the remaining. So, I'll delete. No, 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 no. The whole lamina is supposed to be there. We know X band Y. We know X band Y bar already. We now need to find the new X band, the new Y bar. So, um, well, in this table, basically, I just need, in this table, I just need two, I just need two rows. So, I'm going to delete these two rows here. Then, cancel this man here. Cancel this man. This is a whole lamina. No, no, no. We, we need three. Oh, because we need a circular, circular lamina. A circular lamina. And then now the remaining. Anyways, we'll just delete. Anyways, so let's, just, let's just delete. But this man will not be deleted because the weight the weight of the whole lamina does not change. Now the weight of this circle of this circular man here is pi radius squared. Let's go and look for the radius. If I let's just copy this question and come and paste here. Let's just paste it here. Okay. A circular portion of radius B, so it is pi. My pi radius squared becomes pi b squared. Then lambda g. That's the area. That's the width. Now the distance of the center of mass of the circular lamina. We are more concerned with, given that the distance from BC, you are, you are even more concerned with the distance from BC. So this distance from C like that, no need to 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 over talk about it. So distance from BC. BC is a horizontal, is a vertical, so we need a horizontal distance, right? So the distance, given that the distance of BC from the center of mass of the remaining portion is this, we now need to show. So let's find the distance of the center of mass of this circular part from BC. Since BC is a tangent, it's going to be the radius, it's just going to be the radius. Yes, the radius. And the radius is B. So here yeah, the radius is B. No A. We are concerned with the distance from BC to USB. Now this other man is X bar, right? And this X bar, let's go back and see what we had. We have 34 over 9A. So I'm going to put 34A over 9. That is it. Now, um, we need now the remaining lamina. Right, we need the remaining lamina. So I have to insert a row below. Then I copy and paste. Then I put remaining. Remaining. Okay. 
Now what's going to be the weight of the remaining? The weight of the remaining is the weight of the whole minus the weight of what was removed. So 30 minus pi b squared. Since lambda g is common to both of them. I just put 30 minus that then lambda g. I will be enters. Voila. Now the distance of the center of mass of the remaining from BC is A over 3. So this is A over 3. So it's given to us already in the equation. Alright, so let's just take moments about CB again, right? And see if the proof. Let's see what we are proving. We are proving this. So just copy here. Then come here. Delete this man and paste here. And then if I even shift this man up here. Then select everything here. And shift it up. So if you take a moment about, about CB. It means that. It means that. We have. Um, the moment of the whole. 30 A squared. Lambda G times 34 a over 9 is equal to the moments of the individual pi b squared lambda g times b so times b plus 30 minus pi b squared lambda g times a over tv that is it okay now let us highlight that lambda squared this man lambda squared ag oh 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 in fact uh, there is no lambda squared so this time around it's, it's instead lambda because there is no a squared here so it's instead lambda it's a lambda g that is common throughout. So lambda g common there, lambda g common here, and lambda g is also common here. Okay, now let's see what we can do. So when it cancels, right? Um, it cancels, and then it cancels. Let's see, this becomes a cube. A cube. So I'll, I'll put the 30 a times 34. I'll remove the a from there because I've already called that man a cube. This will become b cube. Now let's multiply all through by 9, right? I'll have 9 here. I'll have 3 here because the 3 will cancel and I'll be left with a here. I'll just be left with a numerator here. So this one I'm left with. Okay. Now, in my proof, I have 310 A cubed. So let's try 30 times 34. Or is something common? I think 3 is common, right? If I divide by 3, I have 10. Yeah, if I divide by 3, I have 10. Are you sure this proof is? Let's go back and see if it's not 340. 310. Wow. Okay. But if I divide by 3, I'm going to have 10. If I divide by 3, I have 3. If I divide by 3, I have nothing. Right. Um, what next? Left hand side, what I'm seeing here is 340 a cube. I don't know why they proof they talk about 310. I'm seeing 300. Oh, there's an a square that is missing here. There's an a square that is missing here. So I have to decrease the size so that it enters. Even with the a squared missing, it, 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 it just be missing here. It just be a squared missing there. And then we have a squared missing here. Okay, okay, and I'll see, and I'll see. If we expand, here we have 
the gun drawn 40 if I expand this I will have So it now implies that subtract 30 a cube on both sides. You are going to have the gun drawn 10 here. This man disappears. So it now means that what is common? B is common and pile is common. Sorry, B squared is common. So when you factorize b squared, you have 3 compiled also So there we learn at the proof exactly So this is step 1 of producing a video Now let's start animating I go back to my first slide always allow the first slide as it is go to the second slide and start animating and you animate based on how you're going to be explaining so i will start by telling them that okay the, this the center of mass of the whole body is at this point so i go to animation i'll take the animation i want for that point i can take split then i'll tell i'll tell them that the distance from the center of mass of the whole body from this and from from the horizontal that's from that is that I'll call it X bar then from the horizontal I call it Y bar okay now I also tell them that since we need to take we need to apply the principle of conservation of moments so we need to get we need to get the width of every portion we consider and then we multiply with the distance and since weight is in terms of mass, we need to start by letting lambda to be the mass per unit. So, so this is my order of animation, you see, the way I want it to be appearing. So just choose any animation of your choice. You must not necessarily choose. This is what we call the animation plane, to see the order of the animations. Also, now after doing this, um, I now need to make my table to appear. When my table appear and i'll say portion weight distance of center of mass from cd and from cb i take the first portion no before taking this first portion we first of all have to go and divide the the lamina into portions right click and make everything to start on click now um i now come here and divide it into portions i say okay this is the portion I'm going to consider. So this is going to be F. This is going to be H. I put two. I put two. I split. Then I take start on click. Right click. Start on click. Now next, I now need to take the first portion. The width of the first portion. Then um i indicate the center of mass see i'm the way i'm clicking is is, is with respect to the way i want it to be appearing then after taking that i come and talk about the distances then i take the second portion i look for its weight the second portion i indicate the center of mass and i talk about the distances the third portion i take the weight oh I take the width, I locate the center of mass, then I talk about the distances. The last portion, the width, the center of mass, we already talked about it already. So you see, I selected everything. Basic zoom, OK, animation plane, right click on the second, start on click. Everything starts on click. All right, now, um, we can play the slide to see we can play the slide to see exactly what is there so if i start 
that is how I'm going to be explaining so after dividing talk about the distance all right successfully done with this slide now let's move on to the next slide in this next slide all we need to do is we are taking moments so everything appears intact we don't animate the other ones we just apply moments take moment about cg take this take this take this oh no not this first take this and take this we get that we now can kind of give it a slow animation because there will be so many things to so if we take moment there there's a bar missing on this wire i don't know why it does not appear let's see anyways now the next slide we take a moment about c about this we take this we take this we take this and we take this then we animate take start on click we play and see all right now suspension the equation is supposed to appear without animation okay all we are animating is just we first of all suspend it let me see which wheel yeah exactly this might is the best because we'll be showing how how it was rotating with respect to how we were doing it after doing this we now need to place a point b a and this also animate the points the points just appear or float or let's see bounce no 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 let's go to basic zoom yeah better and the points bon you can either put them to appear at the same time or on click depends on you um next thing to do is relocate the center of mass here's the position Uh, okay okay it was already located so i just call this point i also i also animate this other point here because this is the last point g split okay now i indicate my angle theta now i talk about vertical horizontal distance horizontal is this vertical is this go to basic zoom let me see compress no 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 basic zoom okay animation on click bring it back to its position apply my tangenta directly and that's the proof i go to wipe okay now the last part the last part of the question we animate the table the table appears animated portion weight cd and this anyways first portion it's weight distance circular portion the width the distance remaining the width the distance take moments pop pop this this and this i think wipe will be the best animation plane if you don't have my animations please use your own animation because like i said i'm using an updated version oh this mouse was supposed to be animated so i have to animate it now it's supposed to be the foot because when i clicked on this i have to click on this foot so i go to animation plane take it from the 21st position to below the third position so that should be the foot portion weight 
distance from CD and, and CB this is the very distance we concentrate on that like I was explaining we take moment and the proof is out and we are done with we are basically done with with the with the PowerPoint that is all all we need now to do is record you, you go to slideshow you take record from the current no from the beginning Let me go and start from the beginning okay so if i want to record just click on record hello guys welcome once more to another video in our youtube channel so in this video we look at the mid learn practice exam 2023 of pure mathematics with mechanics paper 3 and we are going to be solving equation from center of mass it was a very technical question the question has been displayed to you and stay tuned make sure you subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and also like the video and comment in the comment section let's get started so basically that is it i go i click then basically i just start explaining i just start explaining i explain you see so you see i animated so you see i, I produce a good powerpoint presentation that's why you see that the video kind of is, is also going to be it's also going to be good and then when i'm done as i'm speaking is recording all right when i'm done each slide shows that it has recorded we just now have to convert to a video go to file you take export then we now create video i showed you previously we create a video i'll not create the, the video because i have to do the solution now and i was not explaining well so i'll just delete everything and then at the end i'll do my video and i will upload and you can also come and see the video in the channel later on because once i'm uploading this video for digitalization at the same time i also upload this video of of what i've just done you see so basically that is a stress that you go through to do a powerpoint presentation it's not easy you do it you, you do you fix a powerpoint presentation just to come and speak for a, a little a, a a, a little period but you have actually worked on the video so that is the stress you undergo to produce high quality videos all right so i'll be waiting for your tax i'll be waiting for your tax okay you have you must not complete the tax in one in in one night yes because i think you're also invigilating the gc if you are so and also other things so you have till saturday to submit your tax so tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday saturday evening so that is five days i think i don't know how lengthy this video is but i think in a five days period you can be able to do this all right thank you for watching and i think we meet in the next video